Hey, this is Coop, call sign Juicebox from Insidious Kansas Airsoft, doing a review today on a replica EO Tech. It goes for $85. It is one of the best red dot sites I've seen and seen uh, and used. It is it's great. Anyways, here we go. It's a replica 552. But let's get to the packaging. It has this cool pattern and design. The box is nice. So you see, you open it, it comes with styrofoam. Yeah, some manual for use. Don't really need that. Um, this bag that it comes in, I took it out so it's easier to do the review. Uh, slot cleaning rack for the lens. This tool, which is to adjust or to take off the metal cover on the side. You just unscrew all four Allen keys, two on each side. Let's get to this. Get that out of the way. Start on this side. Um, as you can see, replica. See these Allen keys, which I was talking about, just takes off the metal cover. That metal cover that covers the, I guess, the sight itself. Then you have this big screw, which is to, you unscrew it and put it on your uh, Picatinny rails or tack rails, whatever you call them, and tighten it back up. Anyways, the metal cover is the main metal piece on this. And that is pretty much just to protect the glass. Um, yeah. Um, move to the bottom, I guess. The other metal piece, which is what you mount it on. This thing weighs about a pound. It's pretty hefty. It's nice, though. But as you can see, this whole sheet, it's like one big piece of metal. So it's, it's nice. You just, it's what you, or mounts onto your rails. Then the back, or front, I guess, because that's what faces people. You have this part. It's that texturized plastic. that's like rubberized texture. It's really nice. It's grippy. It's, I, I don't know if it's water repellent, but this lever, so I don't want to do it now with one hand, but you flip it up. It's, a, it's kind of tight, but that's a good thing. See, that lever flips up. Also... When you flip it up, the cap might feel like it's going to break when you push it off because the tube double-A batteries go in there, but um, when you take it off, it feels like it'll break, like it's going to just crack, but it won't. Trust me. I've done it a couple times. It won't crack. Just read the manual and then take it off. <laughs> and then it comes with a sheet of, well, built into it is a pretty thick piece of glass face like facing this way on this side. Then on the other side, there's this piece of glass. So there's two pieces of glass, like a, the real one. Um, then on this side, there's more Allen keys. And yeah, this is just the cover. And then the plastic part, which the cover's on, also surrounds the glass. So it's that texturized stuff. So then there's that and then the metal. Also here is to adjust the reticle, which is shown like when you when the lights up. This one, the teardrop shape on the left, if you turn it right, it'll move it down, the reticle down. Turn it left, it goes up. And on the right one, if you turn it right, it'll move right. The reticle will go right, and then left is left. Let's get to the front. Yeah, back, whatever. Um, here we have the more texturized rubber plastic, whatever, plate with four screws to take off, and the electrical stuff is in there. Um, here, let's start off here, on, off. First of all, to turn it on, press both uh, arrows. Up is on the right, down is on the left. Press them both. Um, yeah. And then up is to adjust the sensitivity upwards. There's about 10 sensitivity levels, maybe 15, I don't know. Down is to turn it downwards, which you see it blinks. And it does that for both colors. Right now it's on green, which is replica night vision just for looks. Which is what NV stands for, the circle button. You press that, it turns red. And then this, you can adjust the sensitivity on that one too. And yeah, there's a little bit of ghosting on the green. Just a tiny bit on high sensitivity. Let's see. Oh, hard to do this. Let's see, there's a little ghosting. Red. Tad bit of ghosting, not too much. Red usually doesn't have go that much ghosting. Green does. I don't know. It's just the color. And then the way the site works is turn to green. It's a little easier. 
I don't know if it'll pick that up, but... Anyways, the light shines through this side where the batteries are. It shines, there's a mirror reflecting at an angle like this. My fingers replicating it. It hits this, goes through the glass. So you see through this glass, it's actually going through that glass. And the mirror hits it, shines up the sea. You see that. That's why when you look at this, the mirror, you're seeing the glass that's reflecting on the mirror. And you see the light down there, which is really down in the site. But it's a good site. Overall, it, as I said, the way it's $85 for $85, I'd say this is a, it's a pretty good buy. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. And um, I would give this site, um, I'm going to say probably 8 out of 10. Because there are some things in there that site companies should probably work on, which is ghosting. Ghosting is a big thing. Another thing is, I guess, electrical systems. Make sure the sys they should kind of upgrade the systems for, I mean, I guess higher technology, better um, things inside so they won't break, which I would really like. I don't know if the rubberized plastic is water repellent. I haven't tested it. I don't want to, but as far as I can tell, this site is pretty durable. It works well from what I've tested at, it at some games, but um, I would recommend this site if you can find one. Most places are, they either don't sell them or they're sold out. One is because legal issues if they're if they don't sell them. Another if they're sold out is because people want them. But this site is a great buy, and I would suggest getting one if you can. They look great. They work well. And turn it off. All right. This has been a review by Coop Call Sign Juice Box from In Cities Kansas Airsoft Team. Um, check in. Our channel, uh, I guess, monthly, whenever. We should be posting more frequently now. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.